for putting your hands on that woman. Know what I'm saying? Number two, you wrong for leaving your daughter. You knew what you were doing, take two. Know what I'm saying? How you going have sex with your wife, get her pregnant, then be abusive, get drunk, mm -hmm. beat on her. She's scared. Come She's on scared. now, know what I'm saying? That, that's a good point. She yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. My brother's ex-girlfriend is a horrible mother. She treats my nephew like an animal. She won't even let my brother see his own son, but all this is about to change. Ooh. Michelle and Alan, come on out. <laughs> hey, guys. How you doing? You all right? Uh, Your ex-girlfriend, yes. Rebecca, she's backstage. She's yes. listening. What were you saying about her? She's a horrible mother, huh? Yeah, she's... She's just a horrible yeah, she mother. Is, she is she, she doesn't ever take care of him. She'll sit there, like, a couple of weeks ago. She even told Chris backstage and told him that uh, he was playing around. She was just sitting there playing PlayStation. He got up to the stove, pulled a pot of boiling water oh. on him. Instead of taking him to the hospital, she sent him runs him under cold water. Mm -hmm. That's not any kind of a mother. I'm sorry. I've got a nine-month-old son, and I'm better. She's 18. I'm 17. That's better. I'm taking better care of my son than she is. Yep. What does she have to say about that when you say... She said she's trying to do the best she can. No, trying the best you can is trying putting yourself first. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. you can't... The baby... Putting the child first. first. Yes. The baby becomes before you. All right. <laughs> so you're saying she's putting herself first. Her desires, her wishes, what she wants to do. Mm -hmm. she, what are she, some of the things... There he is. What are some of the things she wants to do? She, she'll sit there and just go out and have fun. She'll leave uh, her mom or my mom or anybody who she sees to watch the baby. She mm -hmm. sat there one time, uh, one of my friends and her friends, she was sitting there and she just said, here, watch it for me. Came back maybe a week later to pick him up. Oh. Rebecca, is that true? No, ma'am. No. She's lying. I never left my son with anybody. If they want to say that about me, fine. You won't see your nephew again, and your brother won't see his son again. Oh, no. 
But see, if you want me like that, that's if you want me like that, call me a bad mother, then you're not seeing your nephew again. But see, that's wrong. Yeah. No, it's not. Yes, it is. That's his son, Becky. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, I Who does drugs? Who came to that my baby? Who has been crying for the last three months? I used to do them, but he I came to my son's first birthday party high. All right, he Rebecca, was not high. He just was a minute, high. Rebecca. All right, just a minute. You, you're admitting to having used drugs. I've used them before, but I have stopped. You've been clean for three months, and yes. I make sure that because I put him in a rehab center. <laughs> Rebecca, do you use drugs? No, yes. ma'am. I am straight. The only thing I do is smoke cigarettes. All right. Do you do you bring men other than Alan around the baby? A lot of them bring men. Men. My my male friends. That's why when you were pregnant, you had sex with like five other guys when you were pregnant. Oh well, yeah. What happened happen to be your fiance, Michelle? What have happened to your fiance? Did you hear what you just said, Michelle? No. She said one of the men that she slept with, one of these five other men that you mentioned, happens to be your fiancé. <gasps> yeah, it's because she did it behind my back. No, nah, you gave him permission. You said he could sleep with any girl as long as he didn't leave you for her. Why would you sleep with other men outside while you're pregnant? Yeah. Why? Because I want to make the baby child. That's why. He's a loser. A loser. Number two. Number He's two. A loser. The Where baby, the baby, the baby. You could, you, who knows what the baby is going through right now? He's and alive. That's thank the, the point. Lord. The thank baby, the Lord. The baby and number right three. Baby. You took my son out of this, man. Like, whether you know it or not, he's the father and he has rights. Yes. Yeah. I'm not only concerned for the baby, I'm concerned about her because if she's like, like, she was my best friend. I mean, if we're out there together and she's out there sleeping with somebody else and she's not using the condom, she can get AIDS. Absolutely. Here we go. Instead of all this bickering and fussing, worry about that baby because yes. he is number one. Yes. And he yes. is the most yes. important yes. thing. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And what is, yes. All right, Rebecca. Hold up. Which brings us back to why you guys are here and why you brought Rebecca here. Tell her what you want from her, Michelle. I and just Alex. want her to um, talk to her. Right there. I just want her to be able to take care of that baby. Every time I come over there, I mean, yes, she's a good mother sometimes too. But sometimes, one time I went over there and said she, he's hungry. He said she says, "Well, right now it's not time for him to eat. He can live." Yeah, I got my son set on a schedule. All he, right, he should be I'm, set on a schedule. Of yes, they should. Hold up, Alan. What right. do you want from her? Tell her what you want from her. I just want things to be more straight. I want, you know, a better relationship bond between me and her and the child. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to spend more time with her. Baby money! Baby money! All right. Baby money! Baby money! You have to be with her. Baby job! Okay. I want to be in my son. All right, you know more what? I'm, I'm going to say, Rebecca, Michelle and Alan have brought you here today because they feel, and Michelle said very nicely, I just want to say again what you said, Michelle, is not only are they concerned for the baby, Okay, and you can go back and forth about what you do or don't do. She's also concerned for you she's and your well-being and being the best you can be. So wait a minute, Rebecca. They want you to take some time, think about it. Think about cleaning up your act a little bit for you and for your baby. And when we come back, we're going to see if you're ready to walk through that door and change your ways and do what's good for you and your child. Mind your own business. You're being a hypocrite when you're the one who leaves your wife every other month to stay with me and go party. I don't leave my daughter with people. You know that Fabian is taking care of I let people know if I'm leaving my daughter with somebody, I they know that I'm taking care of I used to be that way, but you know damn well that I changed already. Tired of the same old boring programming? Stuck with just your cable channel? And just like that, TV has changed forever. Introducing Rabbit TV. With this USB, you'll have access to over 5,000 internet TV stations. Over 5,000. That's right. Just plug it in and turn any computer into the most incredible entertainment system ever. You'll have instant access to Rabbit TV. It installs in seconds. The USB Rabbit TV stick fits any Mac or PC, desktop or laptop. And as long as you have internet access, you'll have free...
offering us second rabbit TV with your order. So call 1-800-465-8034 and find out about free shipping. That's 1-800-465-8034. Call now. Attention, are you stuck in student loan debt? If you have $10,000 or more in federal student loans and are having trouble making the payments, call now for a special free offer. Student Services wants to give you free information on how to possibly cut your student loan payment in half or in some cases, have your student loan completely wiped clean. Just imagine your life with no more student loan payments. If you're late or even in default on your student loan payments, call now for a special free offer. The call is free, the information is free, and there's no obligation. Just real relief from the financial burden of student loans. Student Services can help stop tax garnishments and release co-signers and has helped many people struggling with their student loan payments. Call now to discover the secrets to possibly having your student loans completely written off. Student Loan Debt Relief is one free phone call away. Don't waste another day struggling in student loan debt. Call now for Student Loan Debt Relief. Tim, what I think is Rebecca is a child asking for help. Why did she have another child? This is a child with another child asking for help. Also, we have to find out which family Rebecca came from. Yeah, that's true. Also, number one, she got to stop yelling. Because by her yelling, ain't going to solve nothing. That's number one. Number two, her baby father's here, you know what I'm saying, pleading with her to be in this, to see the baby's life, you know what I'm saying? What's wrong with that? Some some fathers out here ain't even part of their child life, you know what I'm saying? I think that's it. experts anymore. Some fathers don't want to see their kids. You're absolutely right. And here we have a dad who's begging to see his child. Something's wrong with that. I agree with you. I agree with you. I, I can, you guys couldn't have said it any better. And you're yeah. here, Alan. That's your ex-girlfriend. Yes. Yeah. You're begging to see your baby. That's all I really want is to be able to spend, be with my son. That's all you want. And Michelle, you said the best thing. You said, not only am I concerned for the baby, I'm concerned for her. She used to be my best friend. She used to be my best friend. We used to go out and do anything together. Yeah, we take our babies with us, but that's what a mother does. She Absolutely. takes her baby. Yeah. She yeah. has no choice. She takes her baby here with her. But yes, there are those times she does leave with other people. The only time I leave my son with anybody is when I go to work. Right. So I have to work to support that baby. Absolutely. She does Absolutely. She depends, she depends on her grandmother and grandfather and her mom to give her money. So you want her to be more responsible. I want her to be more responsible and I want to be, I want to have our friendship back. I see, but I'll That was my it, next question. But I won't do this unless she can prove that, or she can come through that door and let me know she's willing to do this for me. What are you going to do if she's not there, both of you? I guess we have to go our separate ways. That baby's still coming and seeing me. That is part of my family. It's part of my blood. Okay. Yes, Let's see if she's there. All right. You guys think she's going to be there? All right. We got mixed feelings here. Let's open the door. I don't, I'm kind of not surprised. I'm not even sure why. I mean, everything you guys have said, is, has, of course, makes sense. But just a little bit of her attitude, I'm not too surprised. Yeah. Rebecca, why didn't you come through the door? Why didn't I come through the door? First of all, Alan, I'm not going to let you see your son until you show me the money. Start paying child support. Oh, she cares about the money. Michelle, and of all, let me tell you something, Michelle. You give all, women a bad name, you know what I'm saying? with the baby for the first two years of this life. That's why I'm not working. The baby needs its mother for the first two years of its life. Yeah, but the mother has to work out. It's mother and father and grandfather. Rebecca, you know, yeah, I, I don't think you're qualified as an expert to say, uh, oh, I two glasses on this woman. I two glasses on this. I two parenting glasses. So I know. Parenting classes. I studied this in school. But a lot of people, Rebecca, don't have the luxury. Like myself, I wait, 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 wait. Myself, 
I, I have a I have a six month old baby, I have a six year old son. I don't have the luxury to stay home. I gotta work. If they wanna eat, I have to work. My mom is not let me work, okay? I stay with my mom. My mama don't let me work because she thinks it's important for me to stay with my son the first two okay. years of this if life. Okay, if she thinks it's important for you to, that's wonderful. Then you have a mother who feels that way. What a luxury, okay? Now, wait a minute. If she thinks you took classes, you took parenting classes, did it any time involve a father in the child's life? You've got a father begging to be involved. He walked out on his son. He walked out on his own son. Why did you give Alan the chance to be back with you? You can't see he no, loves you. No, no, If he loved me, he'd quit the drugs permanently. Don't you understand? He has. No, he, he hasn't. He can the I can tell. To go I can take tell. Drug test. How can you tell, Rebecca? By his actions. <laughs> By his actions. Yeah. This man, Howard B's on TV, but at home, he's a totally different man. Cutting his wrist. Uh, do you see anything oh, doing like his now? Drinking his own blood. Saying he's a vampire. A year ago, when he was into all the drugs and crazy. Whatever. <laughs> Rebecca. Whew. You're not acting like you're too sober right now. Even you're sober. <laughs> I'd like to know, are, are you I'm paying child support right now? No. Are you paying child support? No. Are you supporting I do the best I can no. whenever I do make I money. I can't tell you. I can't tell you. Back in January, you can't tell you. Okay, $100. In New York, if you don't pay child support, you go to jail. Yeah. I know. Back in January, it's hard, it's hard for me right now to get a job. $100 for my so son. Okay, I now wait. Now that's, well, Rebecca, I'm with you with it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, excuse me. I'm going to take your thing and I'm going to run okay. with it. Are you ready? Watch this. Now, wait a minute now. Rebecca, be quiet. Okay? Now, come on, Alan, and you too, Michelle. Now, you can't just be supporting your brother because he's your brother. Because wait yeah. a minute now. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No child. What do you mean you're doing the best you can? That child can't wait for you to do the best you can. So they can do it. That child can't wait for you to do the best they can. So they can get some clothes on their back. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Rebecca, not you. I'm not talking about you. Okay? If you've got to, if you've got to sell newspapers, if you've got to work at McDonald's, if you've got to sell vacuum cleaners, you've got to provide for your child. I'm trying to protect the child of my brother's life, get him on the right feet. I'm assistant manager at Denny's now. I'm getting him a job so when we get home. That's it's fine. Too to be a manager. But I don't care, manager, no manager. Which this kid's got to eat. Now, you're saying you want to be the father? Yes. Part of being the father is feeding the baby, clothing the baby, yes, being there as well in motion for the baby. That's why I'm getting I understand. a job. I understand that. Okay. I've been working hard enough to try to get a job. Okay. Well, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. So don't talk to, But just... Now, wait a minute, because I was with you there. But don't talk about when you can, because the time is now. So, you got to begin. <laughs> You gotta be getting, right, Michelle? So get him the job at Denny. Go ahead. He doesn't have to I'm be good. manager and let him wait the table. Rebecca, give him a chance to show you he is trying to no. change. Give him a chance. Give no. him a chance. No. Our no. audience experts are sticking around. And coming up, our next demand is sure to set off spark. Stay with us. you to take care of your baby right give him what he needs support him the way he needs to be supported take care of him the way you should take care of him angie an all new original series one father nice to meet you hey she's friendly i see that one mother you're always looking out for me yes sweetheart which is why i bought you the one ad one family that's the way you want to handle it and i will just sit back and watch the disaster unfolds. One Love, an all-new original series, premieres Tuesday, April 8th, only on Bounce TV. The voice communicates desire. It's what makes talking so much more exciting than typing. Call Live Links now. Make a real connection. Open up real possibilities. Because there are more local singles waiting to talk to you live on live links now i want to hear your voice call live links now 
I have poor credit and cannot get a traditional loan. I had one repayment fee with CashNet USA that was a fraction of what my bank fees would have been. CashNet USA is always there for me when I need a loan. The money is in my account the next morning. Go to CashNetUSA.com slash TV to apply in five minutes, and if approved, you can have the money as soon as tomorrow. Save now by using promo code TV219 at CashNetUSA.com slash TV. Money's on the way with CashNet USA. Important breakthrough in healthcare that can benefit everyone. If you or anyone you love needs affordable health insurance right now, regardless of a pre-existing medical condition, call Quick Insurance 123 today. We can provide you with affordable insurance options with access to doctors, hospitals, emergency services, and more. Call now. And just for calling, as a special bonus, we'll send you a free prescription savings card that could save you up to 85% on your prescriptions. Don't wait. Getting a free quote is as easy as 123. Call today. and their questions answered. And they refuse to be taken no for an answer. Let's hear what our next guest has to say. My sister's too busy being a party animal to take care of her own son. Either she straightens up today and starts taking better care of her son, or he's coming home with us today. Yeah. Johnny and Carmen, come on out. Hi. Hey, Johnny, hey, Carmen, your sister Angie, she's here, of yeah, course, she's here. to defend herself, because you're calling her a bad mom. Yeah. How is she a bad mom? Well, Robin, she's a bad mother for many reasons. Not one reason, but many reasons. Um, she likes to go out and party, oh. you know, and she leaves her child with me or with my she? brother. She's 19 years old. Okay. Oh. Yeah. And she likes to go out and party, you know, I don't, I don't see a problem going out and partying, you know, of course, but make sure you have a babysitter for your kid, you know? And like one night I was sleeping, I had to go to work at five o'clock in the morning. I had to go to work at five o'clock in the morning. It was one o'clock and I heard the baby screaming, you know? So I woke up and I looked around and the baby's at the door crying. I opened the bedroom door and nobody's home. What? I'm out, 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 she left the baby alone with me. Really? And she was out at the club. And you didn't even know? I didn't even know. Oh, that's nice. Angie? Know? Is that true? No, that's not true. Yes, it is true. No, Johnny, yes. you said a why don't you mind your own business? You're being a hypocrite when you're the one who leaves your wife every other month to stay with me and go party. Well, you know what? You, you left her my for five months taken months care and, of. My daughter is taking care of. My daughter is at home with her kidding. mother. I don't leave my daughter with people. You know that Fabian is taking care of, I let people know if I'm leaving too. my daughter with somebody, I they know that she's taking care of I used to be that way, but you know damn well that she, I changed already. That's why I left the town that I lived okay, in. Okay, but how do I know? With my how do I know? Home. You've only been there for two weeks, Angie. Two weeks. How, you're, you have a boyfriend now? Yes. Okay. And he's working in, and he's taking care of me and Fabian. And, okay, but that's only been two weeks. And that's all that matters. This, how, long have you, how long has she known him? For about a month or two. How'd you no, meet him? No, you're she met him. That's not true. She's part of the party line. She met no, him. No, that's not true. And, that's not true. And she's already living with him, and she's only known him for two months. And you know, no, I, I, I've known I know, him since November. I asked her, I go, can I meet him first before you move over there with him? I'd like to know, you know, who my sister's going to go live with. She only knew him for two months before she moved in with him, and she refused to. So what? He's I mean, working I don't, I don't right even now. know if she's taking care of the, the baby right over there. She wasn't taking care of him over here. He's working, and he's taking care of me and my son. I'm happy, and that's all that matters. But what about matter. that? I mean, it doesn't matter how do what I you know, think. Angie? Why don't you stop it and go? Oh. Oh. Well, you know what? You stop you, it. You were not taking care of your baby, Angie, and you know you're that. You're saying you used to be a bad mother, but now you're better? Is that yeah. what? Yeah. 
Okay, so but, what are some of the bad things you would do? You tell me. The things I would do, I, I would go out, yeah, and party and, and drink with my friends, you know, at night. But during the day, I would always be with my son. He always had e what time everything would you that wake he up? needed. What, what time, time would you, would you wake, wake up? up? Around 11 or 10. No, 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 no. <laughs> like two or three, and her baby would be no, crying. No, no, and no, And she would no, be asleep and crying. Okay. One no, time, Johnny, it was already in the afternoon that she was, was okay she was that sleeping. was a long that time was, ago when i was that, that way that was like about three Watch and four four weeks ago. No more. i'd love to talk to you how are you doing i'm fine okay you're a woman uh-huh do you think she's a bad mom well i think i don't think she's a bad mom i just think that you should take care take care of your baby angie don't leave him around i do take care of him you know i know my husband you left guys me aren't stuff, even around me i never left my kids so nowhere how, how, how yeah, and, you know and we're back together care now we're working that, things out as a family you know okay, we're I get this family straight. Unit. if she doesn't kind of straighten up and take care of her child you want custody of yeah i, I told her before that i wanted they're not, him they're not taking my son they're not taking my son they you guys know that i take care of him i bought baby i'm talking to renee here who thinks you're a wonderful mother am i right yeah she's a wonderful mother how long have you known her i know her since november you've known her for like two months since november john you're full of Hey, let your mouth clean. Thank you. Do you know what she was doing in Nocento when you weren't around? What was she doing? <laughs> what was she doing? Just you know, partying and like, taking care of her kids. That right. was before there I was met him. There was one time when it was one o'clock and she was I sleeping. And I got the baby and I picked him up, set him on my lap to read him a book, and he soaked my leg. And I looked, he was soaking wet. Oh my God. He, was, he had a dirty okay. diaper. He had you know a dirty what? diaper. And I Johnny. kept on telling her to change him and she wouldn't do it. Johnny Carmen, you brought her a Johnny, long way. Oh Tell her what God. you want. Angie, I want you to straighten up if suppose if you haven't already. You're saying you have, but you I don't know, know that. I have straightened up already. Well, I don't know you that know for that. a fact, Angie. That's, I'm just worried about the well being that of the baby. You know that's why I left El Centro, was to get away from my friends and, and, and to well, start new. Well, well, if that's what you're doing now, you know, good for you. Right. But and I'm just saying today, if you haven't what? changed Listen yet, up, Angie. Hold I, up want you, I want you to take care of your baby, right? Give him what he needs. Support him the way he needs to be supported. Take care of him the way you should take care of him, Angie. Okay. <laughs> You want Carmen as well, right? Yeah. You agree with your... Yeah, your me and my wife, if, if she wants time, you know, to settle down and do different, you know, to get herself settled... You're willing to we're, take... We're willing to take the baby. We love the baby. He okay. was brought home into our home. Okay. Well, Angie's behavior has put her own son in jeopardy. Will she change her ways before she loses him for good? Find out when we come back. feel like we are sisters. It's just us three. And a lot of things that you all do, you exclude me. And I want you all to apologize to me for the way that you have been treating me. You haven't been there for me like you should be. This is a national health care alert from the Health Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one suffers from knee pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, we've got great news. You could qualify for a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost to you. Get free delivery, and all the paperwork is handled by our accredited suppliers at no charge to you. If you are on Medicare and have knee pain, don't wait. You may qualify to immediately receive a pain-relieving brace at little or no cost. Friendly agents are standing by 24-7 to help you. Call the health hotline right now for details toll-free. Our friendly representatives are standing by now to take your call. We also have other pain-relieving braces available for shoulder, ankle, and your back. You may be eligible to receive these items and more at little or no cost to you as well. Call right now for details toll-free. Operators are standing by. Call 855-898-0183. That's 855-898-0183. Again, 855-898-0183. That's 855-898-0183. An important free offer for men with balding or thinning hair. I'm happy with the way I look now. With his hair now, it's just this newfound confidence, and there's a glow about him you just can't match. Men. No diet, no exercise program, no new set of clothes can ever improve your confidence, your good looks, and the way women look at you, the way a thick, full head of your own real hair will. And now, you can have it in just four weeks when you call Hair Club right now. With over half a million success stories, Hair Club really will give you back your own head of real hair in just four weeks. I think it looks 10 years younger with this hair now. 
easily, painlessly, and affordably. Life's about having fun. It's about looking good. I mean, 80% of feeling good is looking good. Call Hair Club now and get your own head of full, thick hair in just four weeks. Look younger. Feel more confident. Put that old swagger back in your step and put some zip back in your love life. Call Hair Club now. Getting my hair back was the best thing that ever happened to me. The most common type of hair loss in men is so-called male pattern baldness. DHT causes hair loss by binding to individual hair follicles and essentially shutting down production. Those follicles start growing weaker and weaker hairs and eventually don't grow any hairs at all. Call now for your confidential appointment. We'll give you a free hair and scalp analysis. We'll explain what kind of hair loss you're experiencing and show you the tested and proven solutions we'll use. Remember, there are many different kinds of hair loss, and Hair Club is the only one who can offer you a customized solution based on your unique type of hair loss and expectations. Get the head of hair you want and women love in just four weeks. Change your life forever. Call Hair Club now. I only wish I hadn't taken so long. That's what I'm telling you. Do it now. Call now for our free DVD and brochure shipped to you in a discreet plain envelope. Hair Club has the solution you want. Call now. Call 1-800-605-7497. That's 1-800-605-7497. No mother will leave their kid home like that. You know, a real mother will be there for their kid, take them with, even if it's raining, snowing, whatever. She'll take their baby with them, out in the car, whatever they gotta go walk in, whatever it takes. You know what I'm saying? Don't leave your baby home neglected like that. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Tim, what I think is that she has to give the baby to Carmen and so? to Johnny. You know why? Well. They provoke to me like a safe environment. Yeah, Imagine that baby alone, and she's high and drunk and making yeah. love with who knows where or exactly. you know who. And then <laughs> the baby's not in a safe environment. Yeah, Johnny and Carmen should take the baby, and Johnny get, and, and Johnny get custody. custody. Exactly. In the meantime, Angie <laughs> has to pick her number. Stop yeah. and so, Nadim, I love you. Me too. Give me a kiss. Mwah. I love you. That, that's it. That's everything. You said everything. A safe environment. Because we can't forget what it's about. It's, it's about the child. Right? It's about the child. And you do. Johnny and Carmen, you do. I agree with Nadim again. Very settled. Very settled. You've been there. And like Tim said, you know, there are no excuses. No matter what the situation is, You've got to be the provider for your child. And it sounds like you've been doing a lot of the providing, Johnny. Yeah, well, he was, when she was pregnant, she was living with us. Yeah. And when she, the baby was born, I brought them home. They came into my home, and my wife taught her how to take care of a baby. So, I mean, that's why, my, you know, my wife, you know, felt so strongly okay, about Okay, but she said, she, you know, she did admit. She said, I used to be a certain way. Now I'm better. Renee, it sounds like you've had a good effect on her. And she's saying, I'm better now. And you're saying she's a good mother. All right. You're saying she's a terrific mother. So to me, if she's a terrific mother, yeah, well, I hope then she'll so. be I hope at the she door. And keep on change. going, right? Keep on being a terrific mother. Let's keep she there. All right, Johnny. Let's see if she's going to be there. Let's open the door. Oh. I expected that. Yeah. I think that she's doing a good job. And How do you know? Well, he's saying he's doing the right thing. She says she's been good for a while now. Yeah, well, if, if well that's in the past, doing things that happened three, the four case, months I'm, ago. If that's the case, I'm chance. happy. She's your sister. If, if that's the case, I'll be happy. Yeah. I, Right. No, I don't know. Wife doesn't want to We're just concerned. Now, I'm know? not here to dog her. I'm not here to put her down. She's Seems my sister. Seems like you are, though. But I, I, but what I'm saying, what I'm saying is true. Okay. You should be, your family and, should be supportive of change. each other. Mm. But I think he has been supportive of her in the past. She said, Angie said, I didn't always do the right thing, but I, I've, I've cleaned up my act. And Johnny's saying, if you've cleaned up your act, good. I just want to yeah, make I'm sure you clean you know, up your act. All I want is the best for the baby. Of That's all I want. Okay. I know that I'm a good mom and, and I treat my son right and he has everything he needs and you know I, I appreciate everything that Johnny's done for me but I don't think you know it's 
It's right. You know, he, he shouldn't have to have custody of my son because I can take care of him. Okay, but Angie, I just want, I just want to say this one more time because I want to make this clear because you guys are all family. Okay, Johnny said that you didn't, you weren't always such a great mother, and you admitted that, right, Angie? Yeah, you know, okay, it's... wait a minute, and then you said, but I've, I've cleaned up my act, I've changed my way, and Johnny said that he is proud of you, right, Johnny? Yeah, if, if that's the case, so, I'm proud of her. It seems to me, Angie, like, what you need to do now, he, he's not your enemy, he's been your biggest oh, supporter, and, and your I best friend, too. so it seems to me like you need to just come through the door and say, I'm doing a good job, and let's all be in it together. I'm sure you'll be there to continue to support her to do a I've good job. Of course, I've always been there for her Angie? Yeah. He's on your side. Come to the door. your family. Yes. I know. He has been. No, he, Angie. He loves you. Sure. He loves you. I know. I know. <laughs> and like, I think it took so, I think it was so great when you said, I haven't always done the right thing, but I, I know, moved. Because, you know, it's true, but you know, I've, I've changed my okay. way. I know I was doing bad, right. but, and that's why I, I came to my senses and I realized it. That's why I, I, I moved away from all my friends who would take me out and yeah. party. Good for you, Angie. <laughs> You really did. You admitted when you were doing bad. You said, I, I changed my ways. And he's there. He's your biggest supporter. And, and you guys all, are great. A road all admits to their fault. Yeah. And they changed. It's true. You were great, Andy. Good luck. Good luck to you. Good luck. Up next, another heated demand for our audience experts and for you, too. I feel like we are sisters. It's just us three. And a lot of things that you all do, you exclude me. And I want you all to apologize to me for the way that you have been treating me. You haven't been there for me like you should be. I'm not satisfied with just getting by. I like to get ahead. And that's why I carry the prepaid Visa Rush Card. I get my pay deposited directly to my Rush Card. So I never pay check cashing fees ever. And I get access to my money up to two days early, which comes in handy. Plus, my prepaid Visa Rush Card makes it so easy for me to pay bills and shop online. You can even have your tax refund deposited directly to your Rush Card and get your refund sooner. And I can use it everywhere if Visa debit cards are accepted. Why just get by when you can get ahead? Thanks, Rush Card. Get your Rush Card right now and get up to $9.95 with activation. That's right, up to $9.95. Call 1-877-275-1306 or go to RushCard.com now and use promo code TWIN. 1-877-275-1306. Limited time offer. Don't delay. Attention women who have been implanted with a pelvic mesh device. If you have had or are scheduled to have a surgery to repair a failed mesh device, you may be entitled to a significant cash award. Recently, a South Dakota woman was awarded $11.1 million for her pain and suffering. To find out if you may have a case, call the Relyon Group today for a free consultation. Call the Relyon Group at 1-800-396-0248. That's 1-800-396-0248. Are you a man over 40 and feeling tired, losing muscle, have less romantic drive? Then call now for the Ageless Male Free Testosterone Giveaway. For the first time ever, not just a hundred or a thousand, but every man who calls in the next few minutes will receive a free 30-day supply of Ageless Male. Ageless Male has ingredients clinically shown to support free testosterone levels, and that supports muscle health, promotes romantic drive, and supports energy metabolism. Even though we've sold over 800,000 bottles of our original formula, you can try the all-new Ageless Male for free, just by shipping and handling. Support muscle, promote romantic drive, support energy. And it all starts with this amazing offer, the Ageless Male Free Testosterone Giveaway. 
Your free 30-day supply is waiting for you. Call now. Don't delay. This is a limited-time offer. Call 1-800-852-7241. Secure your free bottle today. That's 1-800-852-7241. 1-800-852-7241. duty demands today and the next one is no different. Let's hear what our next guest has to say. My own sisters treat me like a stranger. They need to apologize today and start treating me like family. Patrice, come on out. Doing? How are you? I'm okay. Your sisters are backstage, Dee Dee and Lisa. Yes. How many are there of you guys? There are only the three of us. Three of you guys? Just us three. And what's the age? What's the order? Where are you in the order? I'm the oldest. You're the oldest? Yes. Well, what? I'm the oldest. You're saying they treat you like an outsider? And they do. They I mean, do? they do a lot of things together. Everything is just the two of them. You know, they exclude me a whole lot. A lot of things, you know, they do is just those two. Really? Yeah. I mean, like, for instance, um, I was in the hospital, and I like, you know, Popeyes, and I called my sister. Everybody likes Popeyes. <laughs> I and like Popeyes I, um, I called my sister, and I asked her to bring me some chicken. Bring and she was like, no, you're already in the hospital, and you don't need it. Oh, you know, right. you and didn't need it. You like another you time, need it. you were in the hospital. Wait, 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 hold up. What are you saying? She didn't need any chicken? No, she, she has diabetes. She didn't need it. She don't have to walk past Well, you wait a minute now. Looking out for her best interest. There you go. I'm with looking you. Looking out for her best interest. See, looking out for your best interest. You didn't need any chicken. Okay. Another instance, for instance, mm -hmm. <laughs> that um, I went to jail. You went to jail? went to jail. For what? It was a, a big misunderstanding. Well, what was and the misunderstanding? I had, okay, um, I got a ticket. Yeah. That I paid. It was, you know, all taken care of. Eventually it was thrown out. Mm -hmm. But I went to jail. I was driving and I went to jail. And my best friend called my sister. So it was just driving? No. no driving no. under. She, it was wait, wait, wait. What was it, you guys? Why'd she no. get She it? called me. I, she called me. Yes, she did. She called me on a Thursday. I explained to her that I did not get paid until Friday. Libby understands that I work, and I have children in a home of my own that I have to take care of. I love my sister unconditionally, and I love Lisa, my other sister, unconditionally, and I won't apologize for that, Libby. I'm sorry. I'm not going to apologize for that. I'm not asking you to apologize for not loving me. The only thing I'm saying, I, I feel like we are sisters. It's just us three. And a lot of things that you all do, you exclude me, you know. You exclude you don't now. Come on, where do we go? What do we do? You exclude they, we together. Together. a lot of we times together. together. If we are together, we are at home they, Okay. Okay, you, this, you, let you me help you right out here with okay. us. Hey, Lisa and Dee Dee. Yeah. Let me, okay. You're saying, you've said they don't come to your children's birthday parties, right? Mm -hmm. oh. Do you guys go to our birthday, their birthday party? Have we been invited? Well, have I been invited? I don't, I, I just moved Why do you need an invitation? Them. I just moved in town with them. I lived in Florida. Their birthdays is in May. Come on now, I have a job, I had to work, I have my own family also. I live in Florida. I, do not, I, do, I was not living in Carolina at the time. This is a new year. I'm here this year. What about, I mean, like, what about other, something else? Like your boyfriends, do they like? No, they don't like. But them. I mean, I, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm not upset at them because they don't like my boyfriend because they've dated men that I don't like. Also. Okay, true. So true, and everyone has their own opinion about me. Yeah, thank you. You guys don't like her boyfriend? No. How come? I don't know. I, I, I mean, mean he's biased cool. To that. He's cool. He's cool, but at times, you know, he flips out on her. What are we supposed to do? And you're my sister. And you're my sister. Yeah. What are we supposed so to do? So I don't like we that. We supposed you're to right. accept that. I just got to say that blood's thicker than water. Sometimes you have to make the initiative to come and see us to find out how they're going. I understand that there may be some friction, but sometimes you have to make the initiative. Blood is thicker than water, right? But when you're in town with us for a week or two, and you don't call unless you want something, I don't only call you all when I want something. I like to see them around. Wait a minute. No, wait. Lisa and Dee Dee, you're saying. She calls when she wants One something. Not all, all the time. time. Not, not all the time. 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 No. All right. yeah. Tell Jackson them why that. you brought them here today. Let's I brought y'all here today because I feel that we are sisters and we should get along. And I want you all to apologize to me for the way that you have been treating me. You haven't been there for me like you should be. And you are. And I you want you been there. there for us like you should be either. Okay. And well, that, that, that goes too late. That goes too late. 
You know what? That makes sense. Because I believe that sometimes, wait, now I don't know you too well, Latrice, but I believe just in hearing the story just a little bit, maybe they've done some stuff, but then maybe you've done some stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I'm willing, yeah. I'm willing to admit, you know, so, maybe I don't, so you know, what call you guys them all need the time. To do, what you guys need to do, maybe you need to call a little bit more. Maybe they don't have to wait for an invitation. Yeah. You know what I mean? But what I'm proposing, I'm going to do the demand. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. What I'm saying is why don't you make today the brand new fresh start? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you want an apology, and like they, like they said, maybe they want an apology too. So let's make today, let's get together, we're family, we need to stick together, and we're going to be together, and let's start today. You got it? All right, so you guys, when you think about it, you're going to be on the other side of the door when we come back. And Latrice, you're going to be standing at the door, you're going to hug, you're going to say, I'm sorry, you're going to start all over. That's what we're going to do when we come back. Wait and see. Clearly now the rain is gone. Non-drowsy children's Claritin relieves kids' worst allergy symptoms for 24 hours. Plus, it's the number one pediatrician-recommended non-drowsy brand. Gonna be a bright, sunshiny day. Oh, what's that? It's an ad for the Colonial Pen Patriot Program, offering up to $50,000 of life insurance. You know, we could really use more coverage says there are a few simple health questions and you don't have to take a physical, it should be pretty easy to apply. Why leave your family at financial risk if the unexpected happens? With the whole life insurance policy through the Colonial Pen Patriot Program, you can help ease the burden of the unexpected and help your family cope financially. This plan is permanent insurance with a rate that will never increase and coverage that won't decrease ever. Plus, the plan builds cash value you can borrow against for any reason. Call or click now and you can get a free quote for up to $50,000 of coverage at an affordable price. With no medical exam, just answer a few simple health questions. It's that easy to get started. Call now and an experienced representative located in the United States will assist you. Your grandfather taught me how to protect my family. And one day you'll do the same for yours. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Happy birthday. Don't wait. Call or click to get the information you need now. 1-800-258-5700. That's 1-800-258-5700. Or visit cppatriot.com. That's 1-800-258-5700. Call now. If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or state, then you owe it to yourself to call this number. Let our experts help guide you through the process of negotiating a tax settlement. Call this number or go to tax10,000.com. The FDA issued a public notice to doctors and patients concerning serious injuries caused by transvaginal mesh, bladder mesh, pelvic sling, and bladder sling. Please call now if you had one of these devices implanted in the last five years you may be entitled to a cash award. If you had a transvaginal mesh, bladder mesh, pelvic sling, or bladder sling in the last five years, please call 1-888-906-5204 now. Attention, are you stuck in student loan debt? If you have $10,000 or more in federal student loans and are having trouble making the payments, call now for a special free offer. Student Services wants to give you free information on how to possibly cut your student loan payment in half or in some cases have your student loan completely wiped clean. Just imagine your life with no more student loan payments. If you're late or even in default on your student loan payments, call now for a special free offer. The call is free, the information is free, and there's no obligation. Just real relief from the financial burden of student loans. Student Services can help stop tax garnishments and release co-signers and has helped many people struggling with their student loan payments. Call now to discover the secrets to possibly having your student loans completely written off. Student loan debt relief is one free phone call away. Don't waste another day struggling in student loan debt. Call now for student loan debt relief. Mira, 
What I think is that Letriz and the two sisters have a sibling problem. I have the same problem. When you are the older sister, they are jealous of you. But you have to say I'm sorry. It's not one way street. It's two way street. They shall come the three of them to the door at the same time and then embrace each other. That's my opinion. The matter of the fact is, the sister come on the stage, she come to forgive and forget to make a, you know, to let her sisters know that, you know, I'm ready to be a part of your life again, you know? That was the past, this is the future, let's get on with it. Let's go out, do sister things together, you know? What's wrong with that? I don't see nothing wrong with that. So, I, wait, I think that they should come through the door. Of course. That's what I'm feeling but right now. The, the experts. I couldn't agree with you guys more. Excellent. Yes. Welcome back. Latrice Miller says ever since she was a child, her sisters Dee Dee and Lisa have treated her like an outsider. Never brought her any chicken. <laughs> After years of feuding and not bringing her any chicken, she says they owe her an apology. But you owe her, you know, come on. I don't want to go there. Bring your own, get your own chicken. You know what I mean? <laughs> Go to the door, let's go. <laughs> All right, let's open the door. Hey! Latrice! I'm shocked! Don't you cry! Don't cry! Don't you cry, Latrice! Latrice, don't do it. Don't do it. And you know what? I was playing. I was playing with you and stuff because I'm thinking that we're like, we all came to an agreement here. You know, I thought we may had made things better. Are you shocked? It's obvious that you love your sisters and that your sisters love you. But when we were talking, all I heard was what I need, what I want, what I didn't get. Maybe you need to give a little to your sisters and then they'll be more excited. Yeah. agree with you, but I, I thought that's what we had come to. Yeah. Didn't you think that? Yeah. Lisa and Dee, Dee why didn't you come through the door? Lizzie, I love you unconditionally, and you know that. And I think that this whole thing is between you and Lisa, because you know I am always there for you. Always. So then why didn't you come through the door then? I, I don't owe her an apology. I don't owe her an apology for loving both of them unconditionally. That's right. I don't owe her an apology for that. We said that. I love you. She knows that. She wanted an apology. I'm not apologizing because but, I haven't done anything wrong to Latrice okay, never. Okay, but what we said, it wasn't about an apology any longer. You also have to learn to accept us. It's a, like they say, it's a two-way thing. Yes. Right. It's not just Lisa and I. It's you also. Right. You also have to give a little sister because I love you and I love you she unconditionally. She said she was going you know to that. Latrice, did you say you were willing to do that? Yes. But I mean, even though they didn't come to the door regardless, I love my sister. Okay, okay. And we love you too. We love you too. We love you too. Okay. That with all this love in the air, with all this willingness to forgive, forget the apology, let's start again and come through the door. Let's go. All right, then. You know what time it is? What time is it, you guys? Time to come through the door. Come through the door. you got here. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you on this side. You just make a more concerted effort. Right. Right? To be involved in each other's lives. Right? True. Right. Will you? Will you? Yes, yes you I'll will. try. You're going to try? try? And Latrice, you're going to try too, right? Yes. All right. <laughs> All right. Stay where you are. We'll be right back.
trouble in business class and get Wi-Fi ready with high-speed internet, Wi-Fi LAN, email, and hotspot access, starting at $39.99 per month when purchased with phone. When I dealt with other carriers, they just fell short. When we were on DSL, there was such a lag, it was almost counterproductive. The reason why we went with Time Warner Cable Business Class was we realized that we had reached a threshold with the other provider. Time Warner Cable Business Class has been an awesome partner for us. Switch to Time Warner Cable Business Class and get high-speed internet, Wi-Fi LAN, email, and hotspot access starting at $39.99 per month when purchased with phone. Call today or visit us online to learn more. Well, we're Perfect peanut together. butter and chocolate. He says when something's good, why change it? What if you were to try something different? <laughs> it's a whole new way to love peanut butter and chocolate. Smooth and crunchy Butterfinger peanut butter cups. Time to change your car insurance. Cure auto insurance. Drive well. Today on Bethany, she's a great friend. She is. And a great guest. I met someone. This is the second time you met a guy from signing books. That's so weird. You, is that why you go on so many book oh, signings? Yes. That's how you have sex? <laughs> I catch up with Hoda Kotb. And we take on the hottest headlines. Oh, my God. God.